Hello and welcome to Poker is Fun Reviews. Over this series, we will be reviewing the 500 chip Fat Cat poker set, the 200 chip Brivelli poker set, and the 300 chip CAO poker chip carrying backpack, as well as the Versa Games poker chip set. But today we're gonna to start with reviewing the Slow Play 500 chip poker set. So I'll start by saying we are not sponsored by any poker companies uh, in any way. So this is an independent review. Um, now, if someone does want to buy me a poker table, I will not be opposed. But with that, we will start our review of the Slow Play 500 chip poker set. So first things first, I'm going to talk about the case. Um, it's a nice case, a cool design. Uh, it's dark, which makes it harder to see scratches when they get picked up. And I haven't actually had any scratches on it yet. Um, it's got nice spring-loaded clamps, uh, a nice logo on the top, and yeah, with that, I'll open it up and let y'all see inside. Uh, it's got a good inlay on it. It's a little, feels a little bit cheap, but it's not felt or it's not anything, you know, classy, but it looks good. It's It works, which is the most important thing about, about it, and yeah, with that, we'll transition to the chips. So... I would like to start this section of the video off talking about the uh, dealer button, which is a nice, uh, a nice addition to it. Uh, it kind of turns heads. It's a zinc alloy uh, dealer button. It's kind of shiny. It's hefty, which is kind of a downside when you're trying to pass it around on a table. It doesn't slide super well, but it definitely is something that sets this chip uh, set apart that I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I've never seen had a set like it. I've never played with a set like it. I've never even found one like it. But yeah, it's a nice touch that kind of, they didn't have to do, but it's just that it shows that they care and it sets it apart from other sets. Now, while I'm sure, or this is why I'm sure all y'all are here, this is the uh, poker chip uh, section of the review. So it comes, this is the non-denominated set. It comes in uh, four different colors, white, 150 of them, red, 200, blue, 100, and this kind of khaki-ish yellow, color it's uh there's 50 of those um the poker chips have a nice a nice design on them they uh it kind of sets them apart it's a nice minimalist design uh you don't see it anywhere else uh one of the downsides of their design is that the uh art on the inside is actually a sticker rather than stamped in which is you know it reduces the quality of it a little bit but you know, when you're playing, it looks good. You don't really notice it unless you, you know, do some serious investigating. Now it has a iron core, which adds some weight and it makes it metallic and uh, magnetic, which is, you know, it's just kind of a sign of quality when you're playing with poker chips. Uh, it does make it heavier than your average poker chip that you'll find anywhere else, uh, which has its drawbacks when you're playing or when you're carrying your case around, uh, but it's not a big deal. Um... But yeah, so they're a nice design, a little heavy, but it's, you know, makes it feel a little more quality. Uh, so they, one downside of them is they do kind of topple easily, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. They don't have a lot of interlocking between the chips, uh, which, but it does make it shuffle nicely. So with that, we will start the review of the uh, playing cards. Here is a set from 10 through Ace, and as well as a Joker. Uh, I personally have never used a Joker. I don't know if someone would like to, but there it is. It's a nice design, kind of classic, a uh, little more detail-oriented. Uh, but yeah, with that, I'll show you uh, the sets of reds. These are the blues. Um, they, you know, it's a nice design. It's, it's minimalist. Uh, it's interesting. I'll let you make a choice on the pattern, make your own decision. Uh, but they come with, you know, two jokers, the classic, uh, as well as, you know, 52 cards. But they also, what's interesting about it is it comes with, I believe this is a cut card. Um, it's a little small, so it doesn't stand out, which is something I've always, you know, appreciated with cut cards, but it's a nice touch that they didn't have to do. Um, yeah, so I guess you can't really complain. Uh, they're plastic cards. Uh, they shuffle pretty well. Um, no complaints about them. Uh, if you like the design, you like the design. They uh, have a good grip on them. Um, they shuffle smoothly. They, uh, they're they flexible. They don't stay bent. They don't really scratch that I've noticed. Um, 
But yeah, the cards are a nice touch, nothing to complain about. They come in a nice case. Uh, the case is a little, it's got a cool design on it. It's different, which is something I always appreciate. Um, it opens with the uh, slot on it. It opens right there and it tucks in, which is also a nice little change that I, of course, appreciate. Uh, with that, I think we'll wrap up the set, or uh, the review. Uh, I really like this. This is my favorite uh, poker chip set to play with. It's different. It sets it apart from the rest. Um, it always turns heads, and uh, my friends are always excited when I bring them. Uh, the cards are, they're very nice. Uh, personally, I prefer using the KEM playing cards. They're, you know, the top of the line. They're the standard for the playing cards. No one really is above them. Uh, they shuffle remarkably well, but that's a different review. Um, but yeah, so everything about this is a nice set. Uh, it's reliable. It's consistent. Uh, I definitely recommend it. It's my favorite set to use. But yeah, with that, we'll wrap up the uh, review. Thanks for watching.